Do you know anything about Serbia? I don't know anything about Serbia, besides that it's in Europe. Have you heard of Serbia? <laughs> yes, I've heard of Serbia. And what do you know about Serbia? Um, I know that it's a country. Yeah. That's pretty much it. Do you think Serbia is safe? It doesn't sound safe. Have you heard of Serbia? I have not heard of Serbia, no. Has you heard of Serbia? Ay, sí, mi hijo pobrecito. ¿Qué? Ay, de los niños, ¿no? No, that's, that's Syria. Ah, Serbia. Ah, entonces no sé. Have you heard of Serbia? Serbia? Yeah. Yeah? What do you know about Serbia? Uh, there was a war there in the 90s. Yeah. Have you heard of Serbia? Uh, I have heard of Serbia. Um, I don't know pretty much anything about it though. Okay. Uh, I've never been. Do you know where Serbia is? <sighs> the continent is definitely Asia, bro, but... Asia, yeah. okay. Do you think Serbia is safe? Dude, at this, uh, these times, I'm not even sure if I think any kind of country in the Middle East or anything like that is safe. So, about three years ago, I landed my first job out of college at a startup in San Francisco. One month in the job, they asked me if I wanted to fly out to their second office in Belgrade, Serbia. Never heard of it, but I'm a huge travel junkie. So, any opportunity I have to leave the country, I'm going to do it. So, I accepted the offer. My Serbian colleagues who worked in the Belgrade offers assured me that Serbia is safe despite what you might read on the internet. My family and friends were a bit skeptical of the trip and thought I was going to die, but I trusted my colleagues. I arrived to Serbia and I was greeted by my awesome colleague Bojana. She and the rest of the team took me right under their wing. They all became my best friends and bonded from the beginning. Right off the bat, I could really relate to their culture. Being raised in a Mexican household, I found a lot of similarities between Mexicans and Serbians. We love our family first, very passionate and dramatic at times, and love to get drunk. Yozo, this one is for you, bro. Hi, hi, hi. Come on. Over the next few weeks, my Serbian friends would show me all around Belgrade and educate me about their complicated history. Now, Belgrade isn't the most beautiful place. The city has gone through a lot, especially in the last 40 years. The death of their most trusted president, Josip Tito, and its separation from communist Yugoslavia made it really tough for Serbia's economy and their quality of life, which I'll talk more about later. But beauty here lies in within their people and their culture. <laughs> It's a diamond in the rough, for sure. Two million people live in Belgrade, and seven million people live in the whole country. Novi Sad, their second largest city in Serbia, is also another must stop. It's a more of a laid back vibe with plenty of sites to explore, and it's also home to Exit Music Festival, ranked one of the best music festivals in Europe. But most of the Serbia is countryside, and it's incredible. Some of the best sites I've ever seen as far as nature. No matter where you are in Serbia though, there's one thing that follows you around, and that's Rakia. Rakia. <laughs> Rakia, Rakia, Rakia. So, Rakia. It's a type of brandy with alcohol content that can range from anywhere from 50 to 80% alcohol. And oh my god, this shit is strong. You know how tequila has that nasty burn after you take a shot? Well, Rakia will do that and kick you in the balls. The best Rakia is found at a Serbian household where it's homemade from previous family recipes. Rakia is deeply rooted with family traditions for every Serbian growing up. Grandmothers use it as a home remedy to cure anything. You have a toothache? Take Rakia. Your back is hurting? Take Rakia. They drink it at weddings, funerals, and anytime you visit a Serbian home, they want you to try their Rakia. And every family says, we have the best Rakia. I think that was my favorite memory of Serbia. Not, not getting drunk from Rakia, but the conversations I would have with the families over Rakia. Talking about each other's way of life, getting a sense of how they perceive the world and understanding. Oh, okay. <laughs> Where were you going to? Style. 88. 98. Nowhere. 
uh, in, in, in Macedonia. Yeah. We are via Yugoslavia. Uh -huh. I learned about Serbia and their complicated history. It's very confusing, but I'm going to give my best shot to try to explain it. Serbia used to be a province in the Yugoslavia Empire. Yugoslavia was set up as a federation of six republics, and things were going well. They had a strong economy, powerful influence in the world, but then a series of things went wrong. One of the biggest ones was the death of their president, Josip Tito. Then all hell broke loose. A lot of conflicts within the republic started and eventually broke all the federations in Yugoslavia, and Serbia became an independent country. It gets way more complicated, but that's the gist of it. Then, in 1999, America played a big role in the NATO bombing to Serbia. Residential areas were bombed, oil refineries were invaded, a lot of pollution to their environment. One of the conflicts was over Kosovo, which America wanted to use as a military bait. Because of that, Serbians don't really like America, like the rest of the world. And I get it, I would probably feel the same. Bill Clinton was president when it happened, so the Clinton dynasty is not a favorable one. And same attitude goes for Hillary Clinton. I was actually in Serbia while the 2016 election was just about to happen. And we talked a lot about American politics. A good amount of Serbians would rather have Trump in office, which actually shocked me. So it was eye-opening to see both sides. But in the end, Serbians just don't want to go through any more bullshit with the US. And I hope for the same. Two. Nightlife in Belgrade is so dope. If you like electronic music, you will find some of the best underground raves you will ever experience. Techno, Psytrance, Deep House, it's at its best here. Friendly vibes in sketchy, grimy warehouses, one dollar beers, rocket shots pouring, and you're sure to be turning up until 5, 6, 7 a.m. But the morning after or afternoon, you'll probably be suffering from a bad hangover from the rakia. But don't trip. The best hangover cure is Serbian food. This is Kara Jojerva Slitsa. I probably pronounced it wrong, but just bear with me. Uh, but anyways, it's a fried meat filled with cheese. Can you open it? Oh yeah. Good point. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. That's kind of cool. Let's see the inside, let's see the inside. <laughs> oh. It's raw meat filled with kind. Jesus. That looks really healthy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Musaka, uh, a good friend of mine made this while I was staying with her. And this dish is made with yeah, potatoes, mixed meats, onions, and carrots. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> And we sprinkle a little water. Bosato! Then we cover it. We cover it. And then she gets a little bit. To rest. To rest. Yeah. <laughs> what is this called? Gibanitz. Gibanitz. Gibanitza. Gibanitza. I realized whatever I ate in Serbia, everything tasted way more rich in flavor. And that's because most of their produce comes from real farms that aren't adding pesticides or GMO. So everything you eat here will taste 10 times better. You mean you put him in a bed? <laughs> You're gonna be a movie star. You're gonna be in my movie. Yeah. 
Visoko do tavana, visoko do tavana, tashi, tashi, tananam. Come on! The thing that surprised me most about Serbia is how safe it is and its low crime rate. Serbian's unemployment rate is over 20%. Its economy ranks at 91, according to the World Bank. Usually places with great poverty, crime rates are pretty high, not very safe, but not in Serbia. And I think it correlates back to their family first mentality. They take care of one of each other and they've gone through so much. You know the saying, you don't know what you have until you lose it. Serbians have lost a lot, but through it all, they stand strong. Serbians are tough. Serbians have big hearts. Serbians are united and the most down to earth people you will ever meet. If you're a traveler all about taking the less traveled path in life, then you have to visit Serbia.